happening right now behind me. Officials are now clearing the scene after they successfully coaxed a man down from the 100 foot Lincoln Center L Tower near Pacific Avenue in Stockton. Today we spoke with witnesses who saw this whole event unfold and who described those tense moments. It was a normal night on the town for many people at Stockton's Lincoln Center until they came across this. A shirtless man had scaled the Lincoln Center L sign, a notable Stockton landmark on Pacific Avenue. He doesn't have a shirt on. Um, he seems like he's a mental patient because he keeps going in and out. You know, he's yelling one minute and then he's totally cool the next minute. By 9 o'clock, the typically busy parking lot near Podesto's Market and Deli had turned into a venue for spectators. Dozens watching as San Joaquin County crisis negotiators attempted to coax the man down, shouting commands at the man. <laughs> While the man also shouted back. You could just hear him kind of telling people like, oh, something $5 here, $5 there. You're going to get me in trouble. They would tell him like, oh, we have your mom on the phone. She's on her way. Gasps were all that could be heard as a man scaled even further, reaching near the 100 foot mark of the tower. Our hostage negotiation team responded and had communication with him via our PA system. And when they spoke with him, he um, there were times that he came down and then he would go back up. But only moments later, around 936, negotiations turned successful as the man began climbing his way back down, met with applause. This says a lot about our San Joaquin County Sheriff's Office. We do appreciate Stockton Fire being here, also the California Highway Patrol. It was a joint effort and everyone did a great job and we're glad that we had this outcome. And authorities say that the man's mental health will now be evaluated and that he may or may not face charges depending on that evaluation. Although, again, a successful negotiation here in Stockton. Reporting in Stockton, Gabriel Porras for SCW News.